Hello and welcome. Today our topic is our crown chakra. This chakra, crown chakra, is located at the top of our head and represents unity and oneness of all. This is where we access our connection to infinite intelligence, our higher selves, cosmic consciousness, our soul, and to the divine. The crown chakra's main function is to connect us with the divine force and infinite source through realization, knowing, and enlightenment. It also plays a role in our life's purpose because feeling connected also helps us to feel purposeful. The color associated with the crown chakra is violet, which has the highest vibrational frequency in the entire spectrum of colors. Violet is a color of spirituality, reflection, and self-awareness. The color violet gives an inward feeling of unity, integrity, and wholeness. And white is another color that is equally associated with the crown chakra. White represents purity, perfection, innocence, and new beginnings. The color white encourages us to remain calm, focused, and keep our minds open. Here's a fun chakra fact. The colors of the seven chakras correspond to the seven colors of the rainbow, called the spectrum of white light. Colors of the rainbow always appear in a specific order, as do our chakras. Those colors are red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. Crown chakra's corresponding planet is Jupiter, often called the planet of great luck and authority. Jupiter is also said to reveal the spiritual side of a person. As the largest planet in our solar system, Jupiter represents expansion, learning, and abundance. It also symbolizes influence and optimism. Jupiter is responsible for knowledge, dedication, and wisdom. These are also key traits of our crown chakra. The crown chakra is also associated with the pituitary, the pituitary gland inside of our head, which is called the master gland because the pituitary gland controls and regulates the rest of the endocrine glands in our body. Well, in a similar way, our crown chakra oversees the rest of our chakras, and when open and operating well, it helps to smooth out all of the energy vortexes so they communicate fluidly with each other. We can view this chakra, crown chakra, as an open funnel pointing upward just above the top of our head, similar to the root chakra with its opening facing down to Mother Earth and grounding us in the physical, our crown chakra opens us up to the infinite, to our higher selves, to cosmic consciousness, and to the oneness that all are connected. The crown chakra symbol is represented by a violet or a white colored lotus flower with a thousand petals, with a circle in the center, and the circle represents what's called the vacuum of space. And so, as our consciousness rises from our lower chakras all the way up to our crown chakra, we are able to connect and merge with this infinite space. We can also think of this infinite space as a circle of oneness, where all living beings in the universe exist. When we begin to open to the beautiful energy of the divine, our crown chakra acts as a direct energetic channel to our higher selves. We can think of our highest chakra as a receiver of consciousness from source, which keeps us connected with the divine and, again, our higher self. When open and balanced, our crown chakra offers us a sense of awareness and that there is a deeper significance and order in life, regulating all of creation and that we are all part of infinite oneness. This gives us a profound feeling of connection and purpose. When the crown chakra is out of balance or blocked, we may notice feelings of being lost or feeling alone, a feeling of drifting along without a purpose or an overall confusion about what we want or what we need can set in. Other signs of a blocked crown chakra are uncontrollable negative thoughts, depression, destructive behavior, feelings of abandonment. When crown chakra is blocked, an overall sluggishness or depression of energy flow through the entire chakra system can result. A, a, a blocked crown chakra keeps us from seeing the connectedness of all and keeps us from contacting our higher self. It can put us in a really dark place. Because crown chakra governs all of the chakras in our energy system, you can really see that it's truly vital to have a healthy and open crown chakra so that all of the energy vortexes are working in sync. And 
Remember that our chakra system is an energetic system. It informs us about the world around us and informs the world around us about us. So with that in mind, let's look at an example of um, an open crown chakra. So think about a time when you were in a room with others and your back was to the door. But you felt something. You could actually feel someone walk in the room just from their energy. Something electric lit you up and got your attention. That was someone's open and healthy crown chakra saying, hello. <laughs> when you're in the presence of someone with an open crown chakra, you will literally feel lit up. Another example is to imagine someone you know who seems naturally happy, magnetic, charismatic, even lucky. They seem to have good fortune, they're in sync, and they're someone who inspires others. Well, their energy is coming from an open and balanced crown chakra. This is what a healthy crown chakra looks like in your life. You can think of your crown chakra as a spiritual beacon, having a strong, steady current of energy flowing to and from you. That energy radiates around you and reflects off of all of the people and all of the objects around you. And having an open and balanced crown chakra puts you in a high vibration, and the universe loves high vibes and will share back to you high vibes in the way of good timing, good luck, positive synchronicity, beautiful connected feelings of oneness. Well, sadly, the direct opposite can be said for someone with a blocked crown chakra. Much like the way positive energy feels light and fun, negative energy weighs people and objects down and creates a real dark atmosphere. Um, we've talked a lot in this video series about energy bodies and how they attract our same energy patterns back to us. It's really important that we remember that we have a direct say in which energy patterns we choose to create. It's a matter of taking responsibility and action toward our own self-mastery. And it also helps to remember that thoughts create feelings, feelings create emotions, emotions create behavior. So with this information, we're, we're really armed to begin our practice of self-awareness. If you're new to this video, check out the playlist attached in the comments in the description below so that you can kind of catch up. Okay, well, in order to awaken to the crown chakra level of awareness, we must fully realize that everything is one and that we all come from the same divine origin. This is key number one to opening crown chakra. And one of the simplest ways and most powerful techniques for opening crown chakra is to imagine lots of bright, white light surrounding your body. Lots of white light. You can just imagine it, use that third eye chakra and visualize white light surrounding you. You can also imagine that your crown chakra is a ball of violet light and it's spinning clockwise. At the same time, picture a bright golden white light coming through the opening funnel and filling up your entire body. Think of all of your energy vortexes filling with this bright light and moving down the chain into Mother Earth, exchanging that energy and bringing it back up the chain all the way up to cosmic consciousness. And while you're doing this, keep imagining that golden river of light that's within you. It moves in both directions. You're literally sharing this universal energy up and down and back again. You are charging your entire energetic, emotional, and physical bodies to a healthy, high vibe state. These simple visualization methods are very effective because when we think about our crown chakra and visualize it opening, it will begin to open. Keep in mind, when we say yes to the evolution of our own souls, we are also saying yes to collective evolution throughout the world. One of the best ways we can put these ideas into a simple daily practice is to remember a universal law which states, when we are compassionate, kind, and respect others, we are also kind to ourselves. This is the beauty and simplicity of the concept of oneness. In summary, let's remember that our chakra energy system offers us a map to see the correlation between anatomy, mindset, emotions, behavior, and energy. Our chakras illuminate the body-mind-spirit connection in an accessible and practical way. The chakra anatomy reminds us of our infinite potential, that we can be grounded yet flexible, 
passionate yet disciplined, and expressive yet compassionate. I thank you for joining me in, these, in this series of chakra videos. I sincerely hope that I've helped you in positive ways to expand your self-awareness and your self-love. As you journey through your chakra development, I wish you clarity, peace, and love. Thank you again, and I'll watch for you in the next video.